The Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, is reportedly interested in buying Manchester United. The Red Devils were put up for sale in November last year, and formal bids are expected for the evaluation process this month. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani values the club at around $4.5 billion. That is below the Glazer family's asking price of $7.25 billion. Encouraged by the success of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, a group of private high-wealth individuals based in the gas-rich state have set their eyes on a club that they view as football's crown jewel. Reports suggest they will make an offer for United in the coming days ahead of the mid-February deadline set by the Glazers. The other high-profile bidder at the moment is Ineos founder Jim Ratcliffe, who is one of Britain's richest persons. This won't be the Emir's first foray into owning a football club. In 2011, he purchased Paris Saint-Germain through Qatar Sports Investment. That could, however, become a stumbling block in United's purchase. According to the current UFR rules, one entity cannot own two clubs in the same competition. To avoid such complications, the bid could come from a separate entity or UEFA may have to agree to a regulation change. If the deal works out, it would be welcome news for the United Faithful who have been clamoring for a change of ownership. Protests against the Glazers had become a weekly routine last year, especially during home games at Old Trafford. The United Faithful have accused the Glazers of ripping apart the club for profit and running it like a business. Those sentiments were echoed by Cristiano Ronaldo in this explosive interview with British broadcaster Piers Morgan in November. The Manchester United legend alleged that he had never met the Glazers across his two stints for the club. He also slammed the owners for not investing back into the club.